Courtney Mayo, and, and this, this is Finlandia Fridays. Fridays. Hello and welcome to Finlandia Fridays. I am your host, Olivia Myers, and I am joined this week by nursing students, J- junior Ellie Hogley and sophomore Courtney Mayo. Welcome, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being here today. So um, one thing that we're going to talk about today is academic families, which is really special to our nursing program. But first, I want to kind of dive into your background and what drew you here uh, specifically to the Finlandia Nursing Program? Well, I come from Arizona, and that's like 2,000 miles away, honestly. And Finlandia was a really appealing school for me, partially because it's in this isolated little part of the country, and also because my grandmother and my mother both grew up here. So it's kind of like a family thing for the town. Um, I came to Finlandia mainly because it was closer to home and it was a lot easier school to get that grip on coming out of high school. So. And I know, Courtney, that you transferred yes. from a pretty large school. We've talked with you before. Yeah. You benefited from that transfer scholarship. Mm-hmm. Ellie, you came in with an associate's degree in art. Yeah. Um, first off, talk about how you jumped from art to nursing. Um, <laughs> nursing has always been in the works. Uh, the nursing colleges out west are really competitive. You need to have other degrees, you need to have extracurriculars, I mean, you have a 4.0. So I guess it was something I did straight out of high school where I was still like, do I want to do this, do I not want to do this? I'm just going to go to community college and get get this degree while I decide what I want to do with my life. And so yeah, I ended up in nursing. So that's one of the big appeals to the Finlandia Nursing Program is there is no wait list. And so was that, did that really influence your decision to come here? Oh yeah. Because they, they took me, they took me straight in as a sophomore. I didn't have to repeat classes I already had. I didn't have to pay an arm and a leg to repeat those classes I already had. Like that was a huge influence for me coming here was the fact that they took me straight. So did you get the transfer scholarship as well? I did actually. So you both wound up with this amazing scholarship which is phenomenal. Like I said, we're going to talk about academic families which is kind of a new initiative with the nursing program and First off, what is Academic Families? This is my mom. She's my academic mom. So the main thing is it was to help us as sophomores coming straight into the program kind of understand that it's not going to be easy, but it definitely is helpful when you have someone guiding you. And we were pitched the idea as second semester sophomores. One of our professors came up to us and was like, hey, how do you think about this European thing? And we're all like, this is Greek life without the Greek life because it's figs and ladles. And she was like, no, 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 this is academic families. And so we were like, well, we'll give it a shot, you know, because we really felt like it wasn't just me, it was my entire class, felt like we could have used an academic family as a sophomore. So we decided to give it a shot. So how were you paired? Randomly. Yep. I never met Ellie before she became my academic mom. <laughs> I didn't know Courtney before she became my kid. <laughs> and, and how's it working out for you? Pretty good. Um, I'm. I mean, Ellie and I like we're like we're we're close, but like not as. There's some that are like benefiting from this every single day. I mean, they hang out with them all the time. Where Ellie, like, if I ever have trouble, she's like welcoming and like will help me right away. And yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, what are some of the the biggest ways that she's helped you? Um, or you know, what's been the advantage to being able to help somebody? The biggest thing is it was about 8.30 before the night of my first clinical. I had no idea what I was doing with paperwork, and I texted Ellie, and she met me at the library and, like, showed me what to do for, like, my paperwork and stuff. Yeah, and I have to say, like, being able to offer a different perspective, because when you first come into the program and they orientate you, like, they scared us. Like, they scared us as a sophomore. They were like, you're going to never, you're never going to have to poop. You're never going to have to shower. Like, this is going to be awful. And so it's, it's being able to offer a different perspective of, of, hey, like, it's really not that bad. You just got to buckle down and do it, and here's how you do it. So it's really providing that other support system that's maybe a little less scary and, oh, yeah. um, you know, a way to get through all of that then. Um, what are some of the activities that you've done? I know you guys mentioned Applebee's. Yeah, Ellie texted me one time and was like, hey, let's go to dinner. I said, okay. And then they said dinner was at 8 p.m., and I was like, well, I'll come for dessert. <laughs> I ate dinner by then. But, yeah, we've done Applebee's. We had, like, a before-school picnic. We've had potlucks. Oh, yeah, the potluck. We had potluck at, what was it, Christmas time, midterm, mm-hmm. somewhere around there. Yeah, right before Christmas break. We had a huge potluck where we invited everybody in the nursing program, not just essentially academic families, but everyone was invited. 
And then we've played volleyball, both, like, before school started and had pizza and got to, like, really get to know, like, our families before we started school in the summer. So it's a lot more than just, hey, I need help with this homework assignment and really trying to get to know somebody else. Definitely, definitely. I think that that's absolutely phenomenal. Um, You know, what – first off, do you have to be, like, opt into this program? Oh, you have to, like, agree to, like, you have to show interest in gotcha. wanting to do it. And then they'll assign you to someone. Like, we're not forcing anyone to be in the academic families, but they highly recommend it, so they really persuade it. But everybody, I think everybody and almost everyone in my class is part of academic families. I know not everyone in my class is part of it because they have other things going on in their lives, but, like, I don't know. I figured it was like it's more of a support, and the more community you can build with the people that are coming in, the better they're going to be able to succeed in the program. Yeah, For absolutely. Sure. I agree with that completely. So, in your minds, you know, with everything that the Finlandia Nursing Program offers, what are the best parts of it? Whether it is academic families or something else not related to that? I'd have to say the best part about Finlandia Nursing Program as a whole, um, it's probably the clinical experience, like hands yeah. down. Like, that's what it is. I haven't got to, like, really see a lot of, like, the big clinicals yet. Like, last semester we just had the one placement, but this semester we have, like, there's so many different opportunities. I mean, from, like, seeing surgeries and doing patient care at, like, multiple different places. I mean, we have the option. We get to utilize every hospital from here to Marquette. So it's very, very good. And you actually both had just come from clinicals before doing this, and we were talking a little bit before we began about where your interests lie and um, you know, you both said that at one point you had expressed interest in working with peds, with kids, um, and now maybe you're shifting from that a little bit. So can you talk about the way the clinical experience helps inform that decision? You definitely get a wide variety of patients, and you get a wide variety of experiences. Um, like, I didn't realize I might want to go into the emergency room, like the emergency department, until I'd done that clinical, and I was like, holy cow, I love this. Like, I need this in my life. But cause at the same time, you get kids, you get people of all ages, but I knew, I know at the same time that I do want to do kids at one point in my career. Yeah, and I'm the same way too, like I've always wanted to look in like pediatrics, OB, but I haven't really done that clinical yet, but I'm, right now I'm doing the mental health clinical, and the amount of stuff that mental health nurses do is, it's so broad, and there's so many different options, and it really like hones you in on like seeing the different things that m- nurses do on a normal basis. Fantastic. I I love, I always hear the nurses talk about the clinical hours and how many they actually get, and it seems to be just astronomically a lot more than most um, nursing students actually can achieve. So I love that. As we close out here, any advice that you would have to a prospective student who's looking at Finlandia's nursing program? Utilize academic families <laughs> because they're important and any support, I mean, utilize your professors, anything. Just utilize any support that you can potentially get while being here. I'd say don't, don't let the old people scare you. Like, don't let the seniors scare you, man. Like, just go for it. Yeah. Like, if you can, if you think, if you believe you can do it, you can do it. Like, that's the bottom line. If you have to believe you can do it, then you can do it. I love it. Perfect. All right, so to learn more about Finlandia's nursing program and academic families, please visit finlandia.edu slash nursing. Thank you both of you for being with us this week. And until next week.